I think playing such a strong female character was like, I think it's probably a career high for me really. I mean, I, to be fair, I do get to play these amazing, you know, strong characters and, but she did, what was great about June is she didn't really start off as very strong. She wasn't, she wouldn't particularly think she was any sort of boudicca, she was, but she turned into that and she turned into a real warrior and she found her, her strength as we carry on through the drama, which I, I found was fascinating and it, quite encouraging really to, you know, when your back's against the wall, what would you do? That's the question I kept asking myself, would I do this, would I? Probably not, would I? I don't know. You know, and, and it, it was really an interesting character to play. I think Gareth has done a genius job in representing Manchester in a way, and the, the place we filmed in is quite a low, you know, quite a low um, rent area. It's quite sort of, um, uh, you would say, sort of low income, um, uh, sort of bottom in the economic scale. But what he did, he represented it in a truthful way. So there wasn't any sort of burning skips or mattresses or, you know, uh, it, 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 was, it was just how it is and actually people live and work and get on okay and there was brilliant kids in the street playing you know and I was brought up in an area like that very very similar and um, it was fine you know it was it was fine all we need from you know the government is just a little bit of help where if you do lose your job and I think that's what happened with with June when she did lose a job and she did lose all her money she got a little bit of help but it just it just wasn't enough and uh, I think that's, I think those little social comments in Cold Call are really important. We, were, we discussed it right at the start that we didn't want it, you know, smashing over people's heads that, oh, this is the way the world is at the moment. But we wanted it to, to be really apparent that actually this is, this is how people live and it's, it's actually all right. And they do their best and even on nothing. It sounds like I've made this up for the press back, but I really haven't. And it was, uh, it was just before, it was a week before, we met in the summer, and it was a week before, and I remember sitting down in the meeting in, uh, in Channel 5 with Mike from Chalkboard going, this is, and I'd never heard of it before, never, it literally were pitching it to me, and I went, I've just, I'm, I've just had one of these. I've literally just had one. And then the writers started going on about all the different examples and what, and I was like, this is terrifying, absolutely terrifying. And then when we did the press day, after obviously we'd filmed it, Two of the journalists that it happened to, one on a massive scale. And it was like, God, this is just in today. You know, it's, and it, I'm really excited about the fact that no one's, I can't believe no one's made this show before, really. So we're sort of terribly excited about that, that why has nobody done this before? Because it's such a difficult thing to, you've got to know everything about it and where that money goes. And these, these amazing writers did. So I think that's why we've, I feel very, very lucky to sort of be, the part, be a part of this team. And the team was phenomenal, you know, to get it going. <laughs>